hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to attempt my one and only halloween look as you can see i have a line cut down almost the middle of my face in white so i can use this as a guide my look today is going to be very simple but definitely a look that you can use wear for halloween um you can wear it to carnival i got the inspiration from pinterest and i thought that i would recreate it today i think it's simple yet very theme appropriate so sit back relax for the outline of my face i have used the colourpop cream gel liner in the shade exit this just gives me a guide basically to help me apply the color i am using the eye magic professional cosmetics this is the 12 colors face and body paint I found this on Amazon and it was about $20 and you could buy the more expensive version. I believe that Makeup Forever has like a flash palette. It has 12 colors. Hopefully I do not get any irritation from this. I'm gonna go in and just get the look. So it will be a yin, yin and yang type of look. Two sides that are opposites but still work together. So that was my inspiration. So thank you again for stopping by and let's get started. I will first do the white side as I already have the outline laid out. So I'll go in with the white shade right here. And the palette came with a brush that I will use initially. And I will go in with a bigger brush of mine to kind of like disperse the color evenly across the face. So I'm just dipping in the white. I'm just laying it out until I have some type of shape going on. Already we kind of have a dual situation going on. And I'm going all the way down my neck. and over my lips as well. I do think the Beauty Blender will be a good help, but it's coming together. I've had this idea for a minute. I was just waiting for the uh, products to come in. For this portion of the video, I'm going in with a Beauty Blender and I am buffing in the product so I'm just acting like I'm putting on real makeup and just going outlining or going over the areas that I've already applied the product. And I will repeat the steps so I can have like more coverage as I would do if this were a foundation or eyeshadow. And this could get a little messy so make sure you're using some type of clothing that you don't care to get dirty and now i'm gonna go in with the transparent finishing powder by mac it came in quite handy and i'm just gonna go all over that white because it's translucent so we should just keep the color together without affecting the end product it's creasing a little bit because i do believe that it is oil based guys i definitely need to <laughs> Put on a mask tonight because mm -mm. I'm gonna go on the opposite side of the face with the black. Ooh, the black is not playing any games, y'all. This black is the black is black. I'm gonna go real gentle here, the exact same way I did on the other side. I'm just going to very firm strokes around the neck. I go back and forth with that bigger brush. The little brush is better because it distributes kind of like way more evenly. And maybe you can recreate this better than I have. <laughs> and it's okay. I'm not claiming to be an expert here. I look like a totally different person. I feel like the white could have been more intense you know but that'll do 
it's the color is just more intensified you know i didn't have to do anything special with my brows because the oil based product already covers it i'm gonna go in with some black eyeshadow to set that I'm gonna go in with the spoolie, my regular spoolie from Anastasia brush, and I'm gonna use that as my mascara for the white side, white mascara on the black side. And we are almost ready to scare people to death. <laughs> I will zoom in on that and basically we have our finished look.